reason for which you want us to meet urgently. I hope everything is all right. Honestly, Fabia, I'm short of words. I'm, I don't know what to say or what to do right now. I'm confused. Honorable, what is it you do not know what to say about? Say something. You see, I try to make my partner see reasons. But my hands are tied. They insist on giving that contract to a new contractor. What? New contractor? Yes. I mean, they, 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 they said they are giving it to a capable hand. I don't know what they mean by that. Capable hand? More capable than me? Huh? But none of them said anything. They never complained when we met at the previous uh, deals. So why is it now? Well, uh, 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 Fabian, I'm, I'm really sorry. This is a decision of the new management. Uh, in fact, they said you have to submit all relevant documents related to that contract to the new contractor before weekend. Sorry, wait, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. Honorable. May I know exactly who that new contractor is? Well, Fabian, if you insist, the new contractor name is Lady V, your ex wife. What? Vegan? Very well. You stand by for further instructions. I will instruct my manager to transfer your balance of 1.2 million naira. Remember, nobody jokes with Lady V and leaves to tell the tale. I will get back to you. Good day, sir. Yes, good day. This just came in for you, sir. And that is from where? From the commissioner's office, sir. ready to take this rubbish from that picture. Vivian has drawn another battle line and I am not ready to take that nonsense. I am not ready to take this rubbish any longer. Even the saint is not ready to take it. He is not even ready to take it. Even St. Augustine of the Old will not be ready to take this rubbish from Vivian. Immediately. Go, Polycarp! Tell him to come immediately. I am no longer taking this rubbish from Vivian again. Enough is enough. Vivian, you have touched the tail of a cobra. Be ready for me. Oh, Polycarp! Sir? Quickly. Go and start the car. Start the car! It is time I have to deal with Vivian. Yes. Uh, 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 sir, no, no, verse. Who is Vivian and why do you want to teach a lesson? Polycarp! Sir? What is your business? Quickly! Go and start this car. Car. Start. Start the car. Immediately. Start. Yes. Start the car. Vivian, I am not ready to take it any longer from you. I am going to squeeze you. 
then you will know the kind of man you want to come here. You want to come here. Is everything ready? Yes, ma'am. Let's go. Yes. So it is true, Vivian, that you have come back to this town. Are you still not tired and too old to continue with this devilish attitude of yours? Huh? Let me warn you. Let me warn you for the... I will take that as a compliment, Fabian. It's not nice seeing you too. So, could you please take this piece of trash before I really lose it? Could you do that for me, please? Mm. How pathetic! Mm. So, Vivian, you are still this devilish, stupid Jezebel of a woman that I used to know in the past? You have not changed? Listen, I warn you for the very last time. I... Now, will you step out of my way? Vivian, why not stay away from my business? Stay away from my business, or I will make life miserable for you. You are still the same old noisemaker like I've always known. For the last time, take this trash off my way. Else, I will show you how heartless I can be. Saga, shoot this idiot mm. on his left leg. And if he's still here, shoot the fool I came with him. One. Listen. You have just dug your grave. And I will make sure that I put you down into the bottomless pit. Ah, I mean it. I will personally take you to hell, Fabian. Coward. It's 
It's like they want to fight with you, man. Can we talk? I'm going to get here. In the mad. These days are not bad. I will first of all destroy him, then I will crush him. Meanwhile, ask those to report to work this evening. Send that idiot the gift and let him know that I accept his challenge. Let's go. So, uh, no verse. Eh? There, there, there's no need getting worked up over this. Eh? From the look of things, eh? I am sure she wants war. Hmm? Don't worry, I have connections. Eh? Oh, what, what, who gives her war? Eh, I have connections. My cousin is the head of area boys at Opinwe. Just one call like this. Meditinalo. <laughs> Obido. Eh? Obido Vivian. Who we'll give her war? Hmm? Oh God! Oh, oh! Aye. It happens when I have given my life to Christ. If not, you see that guy that is like this. I would have showed him why I am called Polycarp. But thank God, I give my life to Christ. But you see my my cousin. <laughs> he has not changed though. He is still in the game. He is still Polycarp. In the game. Sir, sir. Polycarp. It is very clear you are useless. Ah, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, sir. I was, I was, yes. Yes. Vivian. Vivian. Are you heartless, Vivian? Vivian, why are you so wicked? Why are you wicked and heartless, Vivian? Why? Where have I gone wrong? Vivian, why are you this wicked? Vivian, what a crime have I committed? Loving you. Despite all of us. going on? You've been standing since I came here. I can't believe that my parents could be this mean towards us. They've stopped paying my fees. They've even stopped giving money for my upkeep. The money that I should stay away from you. What did they say? Nothing. Absolutely. Just that they don't like the way you dress and even the place you work. Baby. But the way I choose to dress has nothing to do with my personality. I am a dancer for crying out loud. 
Okay, see, this is the only job I have for now. I wish to drop it if I find a better job. Please, help me and talk to them. Okay, fine. I will change my mode of dressing, if that will make them happy. See, baby, I love you so much. I love you and I don't want to lose you. Baby, being a dancer is not a bad thing. Neither does it make someone a bad person. Those are my parents, they've chosen not to see from that direction. Okay, okay. Fine. If forfeiting the family's name will make everything to be alright. Fine, so be it. No, 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 baby. Baby, please. You don't have to do that, okay? You don't have to. Just know that nothing, not even you, can stop me from loving you. <laughs> and me too, baby. I love you so, so. <laughs> Even when I forfeited everything to make sure I love you. Even when I forfeited everything to show that I care and cherish you, Vivian. Vivian, where have I actually gone wrong? What have I done, Vivian, to deserve all this? Vivian, Vivian, you make um, uh, boss, well, boss, excuse me. Uh, the way you are talking and behaving about this lady here, hmm? tell me the truth. Uh, are you still in love with her? When is he handing over the contracts? Uh, we gave him up to this weekend to do that. And I'm sure he's going to comply before then. Good. I learned the house is planning to submit his name for a ministerial appointment. Oh, that's correct, Lady Gay. You know, this man has worked tirelessly for this country. I think he deserves the appointment. I want it cancelled. Excuse me? You heard me. I want the appointment cancelled. Lady V, sometimes this thing is not as easy as it looks. Really? And yes, this man is loved by everybody. How do you expect me to get the number of votes that will cancel the appointment? I don't really? think it's possible, yes. It seems I'm not clear enough. What does it look like? What? What is this? It's either you get the house to cancel that appointment or you will be ready to face both the public and the press by the time that gets out. Lady V, are you blackmailing me? Have a good day. Yes, I need it. It is important to me this time around. Please. Now, let me remind you of something. Do you know I lost two important contracts 
to that useless woman, that evil woman, Vivian. Do you know that? Listen, I am not ready to take any rubbish any longer. Enough is enough. Can you please help me? Do me this favor and I will be very glad you did. Please. Thank you very much. Yes. Yes. Uh, please, uh, just permit me to pick up an important call. I will talk with you later. Thank you very much. Oh. Honorable. You want to see me urgently? Why so urgent? Mm. It's all right. A butter, please. I hope I am very free. I hope I am safe. Because the bomb you and your board drew at me. I have not actually survived it. I'm still at it. Is it a promise? Then there is no problem. I will be with you in a jiffy. At the usual place? No problems. I'll be with you, sure. It's all right. Later then. The assistant requested for. Wow. She looks quite impressive. <laughs> Let's hope her skill matches her beauty. They are actually more appealing than it looks, ma. I assure you, as we work together, your brilliant instructions will make it more explicit. Hmm. A sweet talker who knows how to sell her products type of girl. I'm impressed. You sure fit the description that was given to me by a trusted colleague. In that case, you will resume work immediately. Thank you, Ma. Saga here will take you to pick a few of your personal things and a check of 300,000 Naira will be given to you in case you need to buy anything. In that case, you can go home and kiss your boyfriend goodbye because there's plenty of work to be done here. You'll be stuck with me for weeks, okay? Thank you for your kindness, ma'am. You're so nice. But not to worry, I don't even have a serious relationship. Wow, a smart kid. Who knows that men are just mere toys? can be controlled by anything or, or, or anyone who is close to their hearts. Any serious-minded woman that is focused in building her career knows that they are distractions, that they are just mere distractions. Well, Saga, that will be all for now. Go show her to her room and then um, work starts, okay? Thank you so much, ma'am. God bless you. Amen. Thank you, ma'am.
Hello, the Divis Consult. How may we help you? Okay, hold on a minute. Ma'am, he said he's calling from Nadia's importation company, that it's urgent. Oh, yes, we imported some goods from abroad a few weeks back and it's supposed to arrive today. Let me talk you then. Hello, this is Lady V. What? Where? How? When? Okay. Someone will be with you right away. It's like someone is tired of you. What happened, ma? The goods that were supposed to arrive today were hijacked by some unknown personnel. And right now they want me there for clarifications. I can't go. I have somewhere I'm supposed to be at. It's okay, ma. Just go and handle other businesses. Why I rush to the office and handle the clarification. Okay, I will be with you later in the office then. Okay, ma'am. It's fine. Oh, why not? Rose. Rose? Yes, ma'am. Can you please stop daydreaming about my son and head to the company? Your son? Oh, yes, the company. Yeah, on my, on my way, ma'am. So... May I? Very well. You can. People from far away journeys will rush back home, give their mom a warm hug, and not stand there and watch their mom's personal assistant. Mom. <laughs> you mean she's a mom? What do you expect? <laughs> Mama. Mm, thank you very much. So sorry I couldn't come pick you. I was so occupied. It's all right. I'm used to it. I know who you are. Always after the business and the money. Eh? You know, Mom, sometimes I wonder if you actually gave back to me. Or maybe you bought me from the internet. Oh, shut up, son. <laughs> you know, I'm doing this for you. Come on, man. I'm just thinking out loud, anyway. How was your trip? Very fine, Mom. Hmm? Well, I'm very tired. I think I need a massage. Okay. Why don't you go upstairs and freshen up? Let me prepare you something. I'll do just that. Good. Ah. You look good. good. Thank you very much, Mom. <laughs> My Honorable, how are you today? Uh, good day, Mr. Fabian. Uh, are you still in the office? Uh, yes, I am still in the office. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, uh, we just received some calls now from Lady V's company that our goods has been hijacked. What? Goods hijacked? How? How come? Yes, yes, uh, that is why I'm No. Honorable, no! Honorable, you know me so well. Why do you think I should involve myself in that act when I know the implication of it? I have no hand in such a thing. Honorable, trust me. Uh, I will take your word for this, but I'm sure. Honorable, you still don't believe me? Both of us have known each other for quite a long time now. No, no, no. What, what will they gain? What 
What did I gain by doing that? You should know the kind of person I am now. Honorable, I did not do such a thing. Trust me. Okay. There is no problem. It's alright. We are going to talk later. I wish you good luck. Good luck on trying to know how they really cooperate. Hmm? Why should they think I will be the one? Why? No. <laughs> but no, it's not funny at all. But finally, look at me. Huh? I am now engineer Prince Will, ready to start up my own engineering firm. I owe it all to my lady of inestimable value. My Prince Charming. Mom. I'm so proud of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You really impressed me. Seriously. Okay, time for toast. Of course. To love, uh, to good health, and more grace. Yes. And success, success. <laughs> and everything. Yes. <laughs> yes. Any news? Yes, ma'am. What? Is everything all right? How dare! Fabian? Fabian, you have touched the tail of the lioness. I'm going to deal with you. I'm going to bring you down. I'm going to deal with you. Mom! I want all this. What's all this? I have always told you to let the sleeping dog lie. Mom! Why all the power tussle with your ex-husband? Why? Forgive him, Mom. I am asking you to forgive him. What's all this power tussle for? How come you go to the cross with him? Mom, don't do anything that will bring ridicule to this family. I will not advise you again. What rubbish! What nonsense! This is time to hit him hard. When I say hard, very hard. You understand? Yes, very hard. Okay. Why is this boy not picking these calls? What is going on? Huh? And the day is getting darker and darker. What actually is going? What? What? What actually is? Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Polika. Hey. Polika. Why have you not been picking my calls? Because I'm dead, no. I'm dead. You are looking, you are looking at the ghost. I don't know can leave it. They have finished me. Look at me, guy. Look at me. Am I leaving? Why are you looking this way? Uh, thank you. <laughs> Can I am killers. Astasis. What is this on them? 
Um, um, kidnappers. <laughs> so they have finished me. They have finished me. I was coming back with the car. They blocked me. Eh? The other one lifted me up like this. I left me and I fell on the ground. And he was marching. He was marching my arms. So I never did him. I never did him. He never did him. He never did him. He never did they are damaged the nucleus of him eh? They came in search of you. And when they didn't see you, they said, I should go. I give you the message. I will go. What message is it? So my message was, okay, I'm the message that I look at my life. They are finished me. <laughs> <laughs> See. So, Vivian, you are at it again. Hmm? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's all right. Mm -hmm. Go to my doctor mm -hmm. and let him get you treated. And after that, meet me up at the guest house. Yes, sir, what about the nucleus of him? He will do that. Yeah. He will do that. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. They should bring more than milk. They should. I'm not believing my you have not mentioned it. Okay. Sure. <laughs> hmm. Messi. Vivian, you are at it again. We are in control of this city, Vivian. You have drawn the battle line. And I am going to tell you the kind of man I am. Vivian, you are a rat. And I am ready to squeeze you. Mm. What have I done wrong? Am I not beautiful enough?
Ah, boss. Good morning, sir. You are, you are not dressed, so we are running late. The car is ready. Uh, Polika, I am not dressed because I am not going to work today. Ah, huh? why, sir? I want to have my rest after all this stress. Hey, that means no work. <sighs> no work. I'm taking today as my off day. Yeah. Off. Uh, and you? Finish with the car. Take today as your rest day. Take care of your wounds. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> that means Indian Malalola. Sleep, eat, and sleep again. <laughs> Thank you very much. As if you know what I was waiting for. <laughs> God bless you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Hey, Chinek. <laughs> Rose, Rose, come again to Bri. I'm fine. I'm okay. Rose, I've known you right from our childhood. So what is the problem with this? I can't really see. My noise about what happened earlier today at my boss' house. With her over pampered and egocentric son. That boy, that boy, that boy is making things difficult for me. He's making me regret the reason I took that job. I don't understand. I thought that job was your dream come true. It was. What is this about his son? Are yeah, he employed to work for her son? Me? God forbid. I can't work for that boy. He's so rude, arrogant. He doesn't even regard anybody. He's just there always for me, fine boy. Mm -hmm. Though he's cute. <laughs> but I don't know why he hates me. He's so harsh on me. Well, I think you should mind your job and your boss. And forget her son and his fine boy Wala before he puts him into trouble. Though. You're right, that was the same thing my boss said. It's time I start minding my business. Well, you're not at work now, you're in my house. So this is not <laughs> So, what happened? Why did you pick your call yesterday?
I said deal with him. Deal with him until that fool comes out. Where is that animal? Where is the goat? Come out. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up! What is going on here? What is the meaning of this? Why are you harassing my driver? Now, tell that fool, that big fool, that big, big, to leave my driver alone. Tell us what. Otherwise, what? I will blow your heads off and then give your carcass to the birds of the air. Oh, shut up, you fool. Shut up? Who do you think you're holding that stupid thing in your hand for? For me? I only did this little thing just to get your attention. And now I have it. Why did you come into my company? Who let you into my compound? She drove the bags back in. Salam Abuala, why would I do that? Eh? I was just sleeping inside. When I heard noises at the gate, I rushed out to know what was going on. And I saw I saw this big one eh, forcing himself inside. I tried to stop him. Oh. He lifted me and I dropped him in there. I was matching me. I would have killed him. Oh. He would have given my life to Christ. He gave me... Shut up your mouth. Sorry. Keep quiet if you want. Get out of the Get out! Oh Don't no! Relax. I will go. When I am done with why I am here. And then what is your reason for being here? My goods. Fabian, my goods. So you had the nerve to hijack my goods. I am giving you three days. Fabian, three days, else I will hijack the whole of this house. In fact, I will hijack everybody on these streets if you don't release those goods. Three days, Fabian, three days. Is that a threat? Fabian, is that a threat? No. I don't do threats. Get out. I make promises. And I'm promising you that if after three days, you refuse to release my goods. I will let you know exactly why I am going with you. Understood? Remember, three days.
What? Mom, you did what? Do you even know what you have done? Huh? Do you even have conscience? How can you break into a man's house, embarrass his driver, and even threaten him? Do you know the gravity of what you've done? Will you shut up? Have you forgotten who you're talking to? Are you aware that you're talking to your mother? A stupid man hijacked my goods. And I should sit and do nothing about it? And you stand here and judge me? Oh, mom, your approach was wrong. Your approach was wrong. You should have at least reported to the police or maybe the customs. I'm not going there with you with your talk. That, that, that's human right violation, mom. Can you help me defend human rights? Where were they when I was thrown into the streets? Where was this your human right? When I had no food to eat, no roof over my head, a man hijacked my goods. Where were they? He lost face with my customers. He spoiled my image before everyone. And you stand here and tell me about human rights. Who the hell is human rights? This bag. What happened? My boss sent me packing because he saw us together the other day and he warned me to stop seeing you after your parents threatened to shut down his club. See, I don't have anywhere to go, though. I don't have anywhere to go to. I'm sorry, V, but you shouldn't have come here. He is not safe. Why? Look, my parents are monitoring all my movements now, waiting just to see us together so they can attack us. But, baby, what are you going to do now? I don't have anywhere to go to. You are the only person I have now. Please. Okay. Okay. Take this money. Please, look for anywhere to lodge. Give me a few days. I'll come up with something, okay? Let me sort things out. Just give me a few days. Are you sure? You trust me on this, okay? Okay. Please, just be safe for me, okay? Okay, no problem. I will safe, inform okay? you when I get to just the place, safe, okay? okay? I love you. Just be safe.
I roamed the streets for months. And I found a place where I stayed and walked. Until I met your father. Who helped me start up a business. And I grew it towards it is today. And that idiot, that lunatic, sits wherever he is and does whatever pleases him. I think he can meddle with my business. I think I will sit and let him meddle into the business I grew for years. Never, never will I do that. Never. Um, I can only imagine how you feel, but that does not give you the right to break into a man's house. It's against the law, Mom. That does not sound that against the law, Mom. Rose. Come. What is it? Mom, I wanted to tell you something, but the atmosphere is not favorable. I'll come back. It's okay. Spill it. Well, if you insist, ma'am, we found out the whereabouts of your goods. God, what have I gotten myself into? Why is it so difficult for him to understand I'm just doing my job? How will I make him see I'm not the enemy here? Not to add how I feel about him. Will I ever get the chance to let him know how I feel? Oh God, how sweet his voice sounds and how the sight of him makes me want to hold him. Rose, Rose, you have to control yourself. Else you put yourself in trouble. So, where is my mom? Are you talking to me? No. I was actually talking to the chair over there. Idiot. My friend, where is my mother? Hey! 
Listen, do you know it will not kill you if you ask the same question nicely? Instead of being unnecessarily rude this morning. Did you just talk back at me? Oh no! I was actually referring to the seat over there. If you must know, your mom is out on an important meeting. And I have the day off. Excuse me. Are you walking out oh, of me? Please be quiet. Are you walking out of me? Rubbish. She can't be walking out of me. No! You have no right to walk out of me! I'm not I'm starting now. Hey, hey, hey. Not be smart. I got so that guy. If not, you'd have heard that I, police cop, on my go, that I killed someone. And probably I should be in jail by now. But my cousin, my girl came out and said, Polly, please, so don't kill him. I release him. Now, oh, wow. How big did you say the guy was? Guy, if you see this guy, if you see his eyes, right, with his blood there, like that, um, last one. Mm. But this time, thank you very much. He was going to show that, and he wanted to kill me, and I don't. And I drive him. Do you want to kill me? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> My brother, <laughs> thank you. I want to kill him. You know how I used to be people when I was still in the world? But thank God, you know I'm a changed person. I'm, <laughs> I'm sure they won't come to your boss's house or office again. Hmm? They will come back. Ha! Well, I'm going to come back to them. Because if they should come back, eh? Hmm. They will need to hear or read somebody's obituary announcement. Hmm, yes. I'll tell you. Wait. <laughs> Help me. I'll kill someone who... Hello, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I am at um, Mrs. Olivia's eatery. <laughs> yes, enjoy myself. Eating fried rice, chicken, and talking with some juice. <laughs> you know how we roll. <laughs> yes, sir. Right now, uh, I, I will be there in the next um, 30 minutes. Sir. 30 minutes, and I'm not going to take time. You know me now. Police always on duty. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Yes, sir. That thing means I'm there. God bless you. Mm -hmm. Now, wow. Is this how you like your boss? Yeah, yeah, bro. What do you mean by that, my boss? What am I doing? Having lunch. Uh-huh. At where? At your mother's grave. You know, you know, Why would you ask me that kind of stupid question? You are very, very foolish to ask me that stupid question. Where are you having lunch? Or that, you see? I am, I am, in fact, let me come back. Let me come back. If I didn't come here to tell you what I did, my great deed, you didn't ask me that stupid question. But that was I come here to tell you so, so you have the right to insult me. So I'm going to leave you here to continue asking. Eh? Who is where? Boss repent to I pray your boss will not catch you one day and sack you. Sack you the boom. Yeah, right? Notice the chef isn't in the house and um, there is no food in the kitchen. I'm very hungry. What does that have to do with me? What does that have to do with you? What do you even mean by that? You practically live here and you work for my mom. So you should um, know how to fix something for me in the kitchen. Point of correction, sir. I am your mom's personal assistant and manager, not her cook. 
or her son's babysitter. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. I know how to deal with you. I know how to deal with you. And what is my mom's phone doing with you? That is because I am your mom's personal assistant and manager. In case you didn't hear me before, I said she's out on a business meeting and do not wish to be disturbed. Of course, you know you don't get away with this. You will not get away with this. As soon as my mom comes back, I am going to report you to her. You know what she can do? You, you won't get away with this. <laughs> really? Oh my God. Who the hell does she think she is? Huh? Who the hell does she think she is? Yes. This is my house. And I want things in this house. I want things in this house. How dare her? What would you want to eat? Excuse me? Minutes ago you said you were hungry. So tell me, what would you want to eat, sir? Where could she have lodged now? Oh God. And her line is not even going true. God help me. I have been to all nearby laws I know she could have lodged in and I've been calling her lines. It's not going true. How do I see her now before embarking on this emergency business trip tomorrow? And I can't forfeit this for I have waited and prayed for this to click. So I can forget all these my parents and family businesses and get married to her and raise our family together. Coach, please help me. Help me.
Fabian! 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 I made the calls myself, and I discovered they will finalize the deal by tomorrow or less. That's good. Okay. I want you to gather all the necessary information. Hmm? I will have the account officer make some transactions. Let's see who has the upper hand between Fabian and I. Okay, it's okay, ma. Yes, don't worry. Everything is safe and stored in the computer. All right. What's the Is there anything you would wish to discuss with me, son? <laughs> nothing, nothing. Nothing really. Uh, I was just going through my phone. Yes. Okay, the way you were sitting and staring at me. Nothing. Trust me, mom, nothing. Okay. Aha. Go back, go back a little bit. Good. You see, I am so fed up with my mom's unnecessary attack on her ex-husband. Yes. You see, I overheard her making plans on attacking him at his um at the new plaza he intends to buy. Listen, I will do everything in my power to stop her. Yes. And well, that will make me happy. Yes, I intend to tell him everything. But I've, I've got a problem. His address. It's in my mom's laptop. And right now, it's only his, uh, the PE that has access to the laptop. Okay, then we'll find a way through it. Okay, then. Bye. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.
Such a caring person, and his voice is so calm. Hmm. It's okay, time shall tell. Good morning, Rose. Uh, are we ready? Yes, ma'am. Where is Saga? Everyone is ready. Everything is ready. Everybody is ready. Oh. Come on. Good morning. Good morning. And where are you going this early? Oh, come on, ma'am. You don't expect me to sit in the house all idle. I want to go out there to get some things for myself, too. Okay. We are set as well to be for the office. Very well. We can all go together. All right. Okay. Oh my god! Sorry ma'am, you have to continue. Let me rush downstairs. I forgot something. What is that? The laptop. Let me rush and pick it up. Let me Why are you standing around my car? To this side. Who are you and how may I help you? Well, I'm very sorry for obstructing your day, sir. My name is Engineer Prince Will. Please, can I have a minute of your time? Which time? But boss, don't listen to this guy. Hmm? As I they look this guy, that if he be one of those lady this boy, so as he finds so make him look, no confuse you. This guy go wicked inside. Now so high as killer, the high killer they do. Kidnap us, rape, rapist. All those, that's all they do. Eh? He don't look at him. His look can confuse you. Yeah? And I tell you, this guy go wicked inside. This guy, now we the higher killer. Shut up and let me think. What rubbish. What nonsense. What the hell was that about? How dare you give me wrong information? You messed up big time and you flawed my plans. 
I'm deeply sorry, ma. I was very sure I did a proper investigation on that deal. Yeah. I don't know what you did not, Rose. If you did, how come Fabian is still handling that contract? Ma, I'm sorry. Ma, I think someone spied on us. I think someone spied and leaked the information. But don't worry, I will find out. I promise I will. Someone spied on us? Someone is spying on Lady Fee? Ah, Fabian. Fabian. Whatever your plans are, I will destroy it from A to C. I will destroy everything. I will destroy you, Fabian. Whatever it is, I don't care. I do not care one bit. Uh, my son, Sorry. I quite appreciate uh, the wonderful information passed to me about the plans of uh, your mother. Um, anyway, uh, I am going to take your advice because I trust you and possibly send uh, for the owner of the plaza to send his account details so that I will send in some money to avoid losing another property to your mother. Well, that would be a very good idea. Good. Yes. Uh, but uh, if you don't mind, I would love to ask you some questions. Go on. You see, what happened between you and your ex-wife, my mother? I mean, why does she hate you so much? Mm. Is there something that transpired between the both of you that uh, I do not know about? Because uh, it's, it's worrisome, it's, it's giving me troubles, it's, it's giving me sleepless nights. Well, I hope I'm not asking you too many questions. No, you are not. What I actually did wrong uh, to your mother was uh, filing uh, for divorce. And that was uh, uh, after when it became very obvious that uh, she was swept off by her wayward way of life. Especially when it became serious that uh, she was uh, falling in love with your father, who she claimed uh, to be of assistance to her, with her. A career. Son, I loved your mother so much. Of a truth, I loved your mother with every degree of interest. I loved your mother. But she never understood. I loved her and uh, we enjoyed ourselves. And that was when I actually was enjoying the wealth of my parents. I was looking very big, very plumpy. And the people were calling me big, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but today, not the same. And that is life, you see.
Can you imagine? It's very, very funny. Don't mind me. It's very funny. Hello there. I'm fine. Oh, really? Um, uh, please let me call you tomorrow morning so we can discuss at length. I'm with my husband now. <laughs> Thanks. Good night. What's that issue? Are you serious? Why is he calling you at this ungodly hour? Doesn't you know you're a married woman? Look, I've told you to drop whatever business you have dealing with that very guy. Haven't I? Baby. He only called to remind me of an upcoming dancing competition. Wish he believes so much in me. And wishes I take part in it. As the winner goes on with so much goodies and lots of official endorsements. You can't bet that. Look, I don't want to hear any further. Look here, Vivian, you're not a married woman. I forfeited my family's business just to be with you. Why can't you do the same? Why can't you let this dancing career just go? Because it's caused us a lot of problems already. Remember you promised to. So despite all my warnings, no wait first. So you defied my orders, huh? Be 
my wife. All right. Everything you do is alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never Toss of you and I will keep me always suffocating. Never coming close, your papa stay policing. I sight you from afar, but you always on the run. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God, so walking in the front. Made up in the worst time anyway. Maybe I don't be just with the pain. Yeah, yeah. Give me all the tension, so delay. Yeah. We go live for life. No party way. It's funny, the whole world's a man But I can't give up, my love is calling Phenomenally, I still can't find it This is the one my heart just keep on yearning yeah. for It's funny, the whole world's a man But I can't give up, my love is calling Phenomenally, I still can't tell it This is the one my heart keep yearning for Wamu Boshali Nelu Wane Mugamu Boshali Wamu Boshali Wano Be my wife, alright. Everything you do is alright. Oh, yeah. right. True love will never pop for life. Yeah. All right. All right. What I'm missing, mom. I got my look at the man who grew my bitch. And my bullet, I got the moon. I got the baby. I got the moon. 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 I got as you go be my wife, alright. Everything you do is alright, alright. True love will never pop for life, alright. Why move for Shadi Nelu and Nemu Bamu for Shadi? Everything you do is alright, alright. So long as you go be my wife, alright. Everything you do is alright, alright. Alright. True love will never pop for life. She love me now. She love me now. Oh, she love me now. Hold it right there. Where do you think you're coming from at this ungodly hour of the night? Are you not supposed to be a married woman? So despite all my warnings, you still defied my orders and went to that stupid rehearsals of yours. Look here, woman. You have to choose between that, your dancing career, and this marriage. Give me an answer by tomorrow morning. I can't come and look you pass a bad light. Physically, girl, I wanna be your guy. Don't tell me so you know you, yeah. I'm gonna okay, be joking, yeah. Don't tell me so you know you, see. You cannot pass in yeah. Don't tell me so you know you, yeah. I'm gonna okay, be joking, yeah. Look at me say you know the rules, yeah. Look at my person, yeah, yeah. If I do you wrong, don't say bye-bye. Gentleman, no be your suit and tie. I can't come and go kill myself and die. Kissy Kali girl, I wanna be your guy. Oh, let me be your guy. When I break up with you, I'm gonna link up with you, no matter what I put you through. Hello, Vivi, what's up? It's been three days now, I haven't seen you, you haven't come for rehearsals. What's going on? I, I don't really understand you again. Thank <laughs> you. 
But you see, I won't be able to participate in the competition again. What? As my husband is vehemently against it. Please. I don't want to lose my marriage, please. Damn it. That fool. See, 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 baby. Do, do, do you know what you stand to lose? Eh? Do you know how many prominent men uh, and judges uh, that have picked interest in you? Look, look, baby. Don't allow your husband to 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 rule your career you understand please is this how you want to pay me back of everything i've done for you oh not again you don't have to step out now baby just think about the offer think about what you're gonna benefit look baby do not allow the tribulations of your marriage to to weigh you down or to rule your career Please just pick up yourself and let's forge ahead, please, baby. Okay? Is this how you really want to pay me for everything I've done for you? Bear in mind that you really have to do something as soon as possible. I can see your mind is not here. And today seems to be a competition game. Is that what you really want? I always had a dream of me becoming a great dancer. And this is the only given opportunity for me to showcase my talent. I don't think I can lose it for anything. I see. Even if it costs you your marriage. No, let me rephrase that. Even if it costs you me. Baby. Don't dare you lay your fingers on me. That was how I told you. But she never came back to me again. Some weeks later, I get several calls from 
But I ignored the gods because I didn't want to actually look like a hindrance. To the pursuit of a dream. Months later, I went out in search of rabbit to no avail. I didn't see until one day I saw she was pregnant. And already she was pregnant. I decided to Well, I'm really sorry, sir, you had to go through all this pain. I am so sorry. By the way, thank you very much for your answer. I truly appreciate it. I think I should be able to do it. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. Well, it's not. As a matter of fact, I will keep you posted on any further attack against you or any of your contracts by my mother. I'll be glad. Until then, I will have to take my leave now. I'll be glad. Take good care of yourself, sir. Make a pick up, baby, get before you too late, or let me know. If you love me, let me know. I'll work for you, let me know. If you love me, let me know. Yeah, you work for you, let me know. If you love me, let me know. Let me know. If you love me, let me know. On you, walk I said one, two, walk on my shoe. Three, four, no catch your door. Five, six, don't keep me waiting. You don't keep me waiting. Yes. What's it? What do you want here? I'm sorry, I made some noodles, so I decided to bring some tea. Let me drop it. <laughs> drop it. Listen, my room is off limits in this house. You have no right to come into my room. You love me, let me know. Let me know. If you love me, 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 let you how could you want to punish a man for a sin you committed? What nonsense are you talking about? Is that a lie he fed you with? Well, Mom, you and I know that that man couldn't have lied to me. I saw pain in his eyes. Mom, how could you? How could you choose your career over your marriage? Gosh, who does that? Mom, you hurt this man so bad. You hurt him. You shut up this man, minutes. Shut up your mouth, Prince Will. How could you let that man brainwash you into crucifying me for what you know nothing about? The least you could do is to ask me to explain to you what happened instead of standing here and blaming me for what you don't know. Very well then, Mom. Tell me your own side of the story. No, tell me. I want to know. Tell me your side of the story. Sit. Can you please sit? My goodness, what have I gotten myself into? How do I make things right? All these years, I have waited for this opportunity. And now that is finally here, I'm about losing the only man I have ever loved. Should I now? Call us off and be with him and raise a family. 
then lose my becoming a star? Or should I go for this competition and follow my dreams? <sighs> but how happy and fulfilled will I be in life after getting my heart's desires and not having that one person that have made my life worth living all those years? No, I will not let that happen. I will go for my man. My children can pick up and leave those dreams of mine. I'm so, so sorry, Daddy. I just confirmed everything you and Mom has been saying about Vivian being wayward and a very bad choice of a wife. I'm so sorry about that, Daddy, for not listening to you and Mom. But I'm ready now. I'm very ready to make amends. I was stabbed by filing for a divorce, then coming back home to marry the very girl you and Mom want me to get married to. left me before I did. Even when I came back, he was no longer there. This is why I want you to listen to both sides of the story before making conclusions. Well, I'm so sorry, Mom. You had to go through all that. But I think it's time for you to let go. If he hadn't left you as at the time he did, I don't think you'd be who you are today. I would have been better. So if you ask me, I think you've gained more than you've lost. So I think it's time for you to let go. Hmm? You let go. Uh, okay, I'll have to come back. No, Rose. Let's discuss. So that when I'm not here, Prince will know how to handle things, okay? Oh, okay. Well, on the contrary, Mom. I think I have to go upstairs to take care of some personal business. Hmm? I'll join you guys later. Oh, Mom, you said you wanted to see me at once. Rose, I got an information that the owner of the plaza Fabian bought was paid before we could get to him and was warned to decline further payment from any other clients. I don't understand, Ma. Really? Rose? This can only mean one thing. Someone here is talking to Fabian. Yes. So, our advisors be more careful in discussing business. Okay? Okay, ma. Very correct. You are the only one that I trust with this, Rose. It's fine, ma. Thank you for trusting me. Your secret is safe with me. Okay. So, we want us to go upstairs to my room to discuss fresh business. Okay? Okay, ma'am. So that we can do that privately. Okay, ma'am. 
so that our secrets can be safe between us. Sure, ma. In that case, we'll be more private. Do you understand? Yes, ma. Good. Let's go. Physically, girl, I wanna be your guy. Don't tell me say you know you, yeah. I'm not gonna be joking, yeah. Don't tell me say you know you, see. Look at that person, yeah, yeah. Don't tell me say you know you, yeah. I'm not gonna be joking, yeah. Don't tell me say you know you, see. Look at that person, yeah, yeah. If I do, you don't say bye bye. Gentleman, no be your suit and tie. I can't come and go kill myself and die. Call me, sir. Uh-huh. Uh, call me, sir. Sir, you call me, sir. I sent for you. Okay. Call you, sir. Sir. From all education, you are not a useless uh, a person like one would always think of you. <laughs> you are quite funny in your character in everything that you do but um, I have come to see that you are not useless from your funny attitude I still see a trace of uh, moodiness in you hey thank you sir <laughs> Especially uh, yeah, showing that act of bravery uh, at the supermarket the other day uh, against that fool, that big for not an idiot. I, I love your attitude on that day. <laughs> No, 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 not today. You will kill me today. Anyone won't go through my boss, go through me first. Every time I'm with an intimidate person, you will kill me today. Look, my friend, I'm not here for you or your boss. As you can see, here is the market. I came to pick up some things. Gentleman, no be a suit and tie. I can't come and go kill myself and die. Physically, girl, I wanna be your guy. I can see you are not as useless as I think. Thank you, sir. Holy God, sir. You should have given me all the chances to handle matters myself. Sorry, sir. Don't try it next time, okay? Yes, sir. Gentlemen, no be your sister. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Um, a polycarp from what is happening uh, between Vivian and I, and some of those men who do not want me. To continue with this business, I have decided to take my retirement back to my family's business. Hey, yes. retire? Mm. Yes, so that you can go on. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, <laughs> thank you, sir. Very well. I will handle it. <laughs> God bless you, sir. <laughs> hey. <laughs> there is this consignment that will be shipped into the country. I want you to go straight to the uh, wharf and clear it. And then ship it into the warehouse. Let us start from there and see how you can handle it. Well, suppose, well, you mean the one coming in tomorrow? Yes. The one coming in tomorrow. I will handle this, sir. Only I will be a man. Me, Polycap, the managing director to your company. I'll go. I'll go, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. I will go back to you. Uh, very soon I will buy a new car, new house, and uh, even bring my wife from the village too. <laughs> Thank you, sir. God bless you. <laughs> to have kids I mean do you plan to have your own family do you wish for them to follow this Christmas when my mom is driving to me? I am only doing my job if you don't mind can I go to my room now very well Baby, I'm very happy for you. I'm over happy. I'm excited. Oh. Why you dog? Oh. Cheer up, baby. Cheer up. Be happy. Yeah, I'm happy you didn't turn down the competition. Now we are victorious. You won. You have an expensive house, you have a brand new car, you don't have enough money to venture into any business of your choice. Oh, be cheerful for Christ's sake. Just forget about him, baby. Forget about him. We've made it. It's not easy, Richie. All my life, I have always loved Fabian. He is the only man I love. I couldn't believe my ears when I heard him say those things. At least he could have waited for a while before falling back to his parents' plans. I'm happy, baby. I'm very excited. I'm happy that he took such an action. Oh. Look at the expensive house you have, look at your car, you have enough cash to venture into any business of your choice. 
Just forget about him. Be cheerful for Christ's sake, babe. <laughs> baby, are you okay? Baby, are you okay? Are you okay? week I've been throwing up and I have little fever too. Don't worry about it, okay? Maybe it's because of the competition. No, 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 baby. I don't think so. No, baby, it's not because of the competition. I mean, it's all written over you. <laughs> oh. Don't tell me you don't know what I'm doing. What are you trying to say? Uh, you are pregnant, baby. You are... my period since last month. Yes, yes, I've lost in my period. I miss it. Ah! You will be fine. Just last. Calm down, baby. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. You will be fine. You will be fine. Just relax, okay? Just relax, baby. Relax, okay? Relax. You will be fine. I'll take good care of you. Relax. Okay, just we'll be fine. We'll be fine. If you love me, let me know. Who woke my Let me know. Let me know. If you love me, let me know. On you woke my I said, one, two, what could I do? Three, four, no catch your door. Five, six, don't keep me waiting. Feel that. Don't keep me waiting. One, two, what could I do? Three, four. Sorry. Sorry, don't know. Richie, 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 why? We calm down. Why, Richie? Sorry. Hmm? Sorry, it's not the end of the world. My sister, you will not understand. I do understand. No! Okay? Richie is my best friend. The best thing you can do now is to live your life so I can be out of you wherever he is. <laughs> It helps me to achieve my dreams now. Yeah, no. Calm down. Which is gone. Let's start from which is gone. It's a, it is is never enough reason for you Sorry. to cry yourself to death here. Yeah. Richie, Richie, why? Richie, why? Richie, why? Richie, why? Sorry. Uh, uh, Sorry. Uh, Ricky, do you want to Richie. hear yourself? Richie, 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 you don't have to do this to me, baby. Yeah, Richie, why, why now? Why? Why? Your leaving me has cost me everything. I can't wait to see you lose everything too. Oh, I have you back. One of this is certain. You just wait and see. What am I to do now? Keep quiet and allow this man suffer in the hands of my boss? What have I gotten myself into? 
I'm now sure I'm not made for this kind of job. God, Joe was right. Are you serious? So finally you've got to your dream job. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm working with one of the most famous and successful ladies in the States. I'm so happy. Come on, what does the PA do if not help with the appointment and arrange business meetings and all? But if anything goes wrong, who takes the fall? Please do. I'm not taking any fall for anybody. My only is just to follow her around anywhere she's going and there we are. I'm not taking anybody's fall. That's so sweet. Someone cares about me. <laughs> I really appreciate it. But not to worry, bestie. Nothing is going to happen to me. I know you miss talking to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going to make out time for us, okay? Whenever I have time, I'm going to call you. Alright, thank you. Be safe, okay? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Ah, I miss him though. Now I'm caught up in the middle of this whole thing. I'm madly in love with her son, who has made me realize how mean and unforgiving my boss can be, but has refused to allow me to come close to him. If I do this now, how will he see me? Oh God, please guide me on this, I beg you. Let me know. If you love me, let me know. Let me know. If you love me, let me know. When you walk my I said one, two, what could I do? Three, four, no catch your door. Five, six, don't keep me waiting. Feel that? Don't keep me waiting. One, two, what could I do? Three, four, no catch your door. Five, six, don't keep me waiting. Feel that? Don't keep me waiting. You don't need to bother me. I get it, go, 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 go. You don't need to bother me, baby. Don't oh, worry, go, 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 nature. Mother is all Cinderella. Baby girl, oh, yeah. Well, I'm sure you are ready for your daily evil dealings with my mom. Rose? Yes, ma'am. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready, ma'am. You know, I have a lot of things to do in the office today. Yes, I'm ready. But... Mommy, good morning. Oh, what is that? I am right here. Of course. I hope you slept well. Of course I did. I hope you did too. I did as well. But I have so many things that I need to do in the office that will make me excited. Mm. Yes. I hope they will. Of course. Officers, Fabian, who are these men? They are officers of the law. 
Excuse me, madam. Are you Mrs. Vivian Chus, aka Lady V? Of course I am. And who are you? I am Inspector Charles. And this is my colleague, Officer Benjamin. We are from State Police. We have two men in our custody who were arrested this morning, trying to plant cocaine in Mr. Fabia's car. And they confess that we sent them. Hello. Are you boys in position? Good. Listen. I want you to do a clean job. Okay? Saka. You wouldn't want anybody to remind you what will happen if you fail, would you? Beautiful. Don't leave any trace. I don't want a single trace. Please. What a good job. Beautiful. Beautiful. That is nice. I like that. Ha! Ah. Yes. Now you will know what a woman's truth feels like. By the time he's arrested by the Drug Enforcement Agency for illegal possession of hard drugs, he will go on his knees begging. <laughs> That's so crafty of you, man. Crafty? <laughs> I can't wait for tomorrow to come. What I want you to do now is to go in and rest. Take a good rest because I can't wait to hear good news. I love good news. <laughs> it's okay, ma'am. Can I go now? Please So do. I can go make preparations for tomorrow's meeting. Please do. I want you to have a good rest. I can't wait for tomorrow to come because I want to I want to hear good news. I, I, I like good news. It's fine, Have a good night, Beautiful. You go and sleep. Good night, ma'am. You deserve it. Good night. <sighs> what are you talking about? No. You have every right to remain silent. Or whatever you say or do here will be used against you in the court of law. Rose. How could you? I'm so sorry, ma'am. I had to stop you. Before they came, I wanted to give you this letter. It's my resignation letter. I can't continue working for you. I got engaged last night. What? What's that? Take that. Hand on Prince Will. Prince Will. Rose. You're such a fool. Rose. Okay, please take it easy. This is Lady V here. Take it easy, please. I never thought we would come to this. All I wanted was just to push him into coming to apologize to me and asking me back since his wife is late and his only daughter grown and lives outside the country with her husband. Oh, Prince Will, 
How will I explain to you that what I did is just to reunite you and your father? I should have listened to you when you asked me to stop. to Lagos today. Get me a ticket for Lagos and also get my, my return back for the weekend. Get back to me soon. Okay.
Hello? Yes, this is uh, uh, Fabian Chuka. Oh, uh, Mr. Commissioner, sir. What? What does she want me for? What is so important that she wants me? Listen, 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 listen to me, Commissioner. If that Jezebel thinks, I can easily let things go. Just like that, she lies. And I mean it. She lies! What? It's all, it's, it's all right. Please, where is he now? Uh, boss, this one you are shouting like this. I, I hope all is well. Prince Will is my son. Hey! I thought I'm... I thought I'm... I said it. From the very first day I saw that young man, I said, uh, two of you look so much alike. I said, look at your ears, look at his ears. I said, look at your nose, look at his nose. Look, even your beard, they look alike. Oh, do we not go go go? Shut up your mouth for us. Keep quiet. Bobo, sir, he's your son. Eh? He should be proud. Hey, what are we going to do now? What are we going to do? He's your son. Please. Um, uh, hello, uh, Rose. Uh, please, can you come straight to meet me up at Lady V's house? Listen, Rose, this is very urgent. Don't worry. I, I, will, I will let you know everything. When we get it, please. Thank you very much. Hey, congratulations! You know what? In in on in Baba. Seriously, Baba. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. What else do you want from me? You've already arrested my mother. What else do you want from me? What is the meaning of this? Pray to me, what are my pictures doing in your room? I said, what are my pictures doing here? It's okay. It's okay. I will talk. Rose, I love you. Yes. I have loved you right from the very first day I set my eyes on you. I love you, Rose. Why didn't you see? Why didn't you see? How was I supposed to see? Go tell me. How was I supposed to say when you were so busy burning my mom's evil beatings? You, you were gradually following my mom's footsteps. When you were so harsh on me. No. No! You're the one that's been harsh on me. I tried to do everything to bring you close to me, but you kept pushing me away. 
You're the one that's always treated me like I am the evil one. Even when I leaked vital information to you. Yes. I did all that because I love you. What? Yes. I love you. Right from the very first day I bumped into you. But you kept treating me like I was a monster, like I am the ugliest fish you've ever seen. I am so sorry. You know, I, I, I thought you would never want me. I'm sorry. I thought you were so busy with my mom's business and everything. No, listen, listen. I am ready to make amends. Ah, Rose, I am ready to make amends. Please tell me. What is it I can do to avert all this? Rose, I, I can't survive like this. I, I can't. I will die. Please. How can I avert all this? Please. I, I, I want you back. I want you as my woman. Please. Well. Yes, darling. I'm sorry, but it's too late. I mean, you saw all this. No, no. no, no. I'm already engaged to Joe. It, it, it's kind of... You saw this happen. I was just here because I found out Mr. Fagan here. It's your biological father. What? Yes. Yes, my son. I never knew. Until now. I never knew. If you love me, let me. 